let's have a look at what you can do to really achieve the sound that you want, the sound that you have in your mind, okay, by fixing few things in the embouchure. Sometimes, very often, the embouchure is the one that's holding you back in producing the sound that you want, okay? Make sense? So, before we go on, be sure to check out the free class that I have. The link is here below in the description, and there you're gonna find more tips and more ideas on how to take your saxophone playing to the next level, okay? Subscribe to the channel also if you haven't, if you want, <laughs> okay? So, let's start. We have three things to look at. The very first thing is finding the sweet spot on the thing, on the mouthpiece, okay? Um, depending on where you are on the mouthpiece, okay, your sound is going to change, okay? I'm gonna show you a few things in here, okay? So, depending on where you are on the mouthpiece, the sound is going to change, okay? So, let's say if you have very, very little um, mouthpiece in your mouth, this is going to happen. Right? I get no sound, I get nothing because I, I'm just closing the gap in here. Makes sense? Now, on the other hand, if I have all my mouthpiece in my mouth, this is what I get. Pretty horrible, right? Because I'm, I'm playing with everything in my mouth and that means that um, <clears throat> I'm not able to control the sound that is coming out from there. Make sense? So what you want to do now is you want to kind of go, you know, let's say between the two. So not too little, not too much, somewhere in between, and then try to try to play. If you can see where I am, right? There. Okay. Now it's more of a matter of feeling, okay, rather than uh, than marking down where you are on the mouthpiece, okay. Some people do that, but it doesn't make sense. So it's more about feeling. That's why if I um, I tell you, feel what happens when you play at the extremes of the mouthpiece, okay, and then your brain will magically process that and will and will finding the sweet spot will be so much better and so much nicer, and you will get a way better sound by doing that. Okay, make sense? Cool. Now, the second thing is embouchure tightness, okay? If your embouchure is too tight, what happens is that you're basically going to be blocking the air that is going through the horn, okay? And there's not gonna be enough air going through, okay? Now, check these two examples. I'm gonna play, let's say, variation one and variation two, and look at how my embouchure changes, okay? Check it out. <clears throat> Can you see it, right? So, <clears throat> if my muscles are like crunching and just like that, right? It means that there's, it's biting, there's there's too much happening here. So the air, you no, know, that, that's supposed to go all the way in, it still goes in, but it's, it's blocked so much. So it's like, it's, you have half of the air going through, let's say, okay? So you want to relax this enough so everything that you're pushing here from your, you know, from your machine, let's say, it goes all the way into the horn, and that's what you want. There's something that I call the ocean sound. I've done a few videos on that. I'm gonna, just gonna put the links here below in the description. You can see them, and you can watch them. So ocean sound is all about relaxing everything, okay? So you start from a nice and relaxed state, okay? And then from there, you, it's easier to develop. So be sure to check those videos on the ocean sound, okay? Cool stuff. The third thing you want to do is avoid tonguing altogether, okay? Tonguing can really mess you up, okay? Especially if you're a beginner, okay? I really stress so much with my students to just slur as much as possible on anything they do, okay? Because if you fix this, fix this, here, you know, if you're able to, you know, really blow and have a lot of um, supported air that supports the melodies, you know, that you play, then tonguing will be so much easier, okay? If you introduce tonguing too early in your, in your, you know, in your learning, then that's just gonna destroy everything and you're gonna end up playing like... 
Stuff like that, okay? Um, maybe that was a bit too much an exaggeration, exaggeration, but you get the idea, okay? So those are the three things that you wanna do. You wanna check how everything is doing on that department, okay? So you're then able to just don't think so much about the ambusher and just really, you know, kind of um, concentrate on the sound that you really want to make, okay? Make sense? Cool. So I hope to, to see you in the next video. Um, happy practice and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.